Hey, good afternoon and welcome to Learn at Home with me, Ryan and... Fraser. Fraser, so I'm a primary school teacher of 12 years and you are... Six. Six, wow. Okay, so what year are you in at school? Year one. Year one, okay. So Fraser and I today are going to be looking at using Lynx, the free Clever Touch software, to do a maths sorting activity. Okay, so maybe once you've had a look at some of the ideas, you can try some of these ideas at home. Okay. So what we're going to be doing today, Fraser, is some tidying up. Is that a grumpy noise? Yeah, Fraser's just done a grumpy noise because he's not very happy about tidying up, are you? And you've gone all grumpy and sulky. Don't worry, I'm not going to actually make you tidy up just yet. Okay, so where could you tidy your things when you tidy up? Where could you put them? You could put them... Under your bed. Under your bed. Do you put stuff under your bed? Yeah. Okay. You could put them in a... Blue box. What have we got there? A cardboard box, like a shoe box or something? Okay, or if you've got a nice toy chest, you could put them in there. Where do you put your toys at home when you finish playing with them? You leave them on the floor, you put them away? Okay, good idea. So there's lots of different places. You could even put them in a lovely toy storage cupboard like this, a nice bright one. Or if you've got a nice old toy chest like this, you could maybe put them in there. So what we've got here today is, we've got some different categories that we're going to sort these toys out in. So as Fraser tidies these toys away, he's going to put them together with other toys that are like the toys that he's putting away. So what sort of categories have we got here, Fraser? We've got... Toys to... Um... Cud cuddle. Toys to cuddle. Okay, and up here we've got toys with wheels. Toys with wheels, and down here we've got toys, toys for building. Toys for building. So what Fraser's going to start doing? Oh, hold on a minute there. Slow down, Mister. What Fraser's going to start doing is putting these toys in the right boxes. Why have you put that one there? Um, because it's got four, it's got wheels, and it's a building type one. Oh, I see. So he's got one here that's got wheels, and it's for building. So you could put it in both bits. So you put it in the middle. In the middle. Okay, well let's just have a look and see what other toys we've got here. What toy have you got there? Ferrari. A Ferrari. It's more like a Lamborghini, but I'll let you off with that one. What have you got there? Choo choo. A choo-choo train. Any others with wheels? Airplane. An airplane, right, hold on there. Let's just have a quick check of what you've done here. So he's got a car, a train, and an aeroplane, and he's put his building truck, because it's got wheels. And it can be used for buildings. Put it in between the two. Okay, so what categories have we got left? We've got toys for cuddling and toys for building. So let's just have a look at some of the toys that we've got here, Fraser. We've got a... Teddy bear. Teddy bear. We've got a... Hedgehog. A hedgehog. Rabbit. A rabbit. A lion. Monkey. A lion. A monkey. Bricks. Some bricks. Bricks. More bricks, like Duplo bricks. Play and some play doh. So I wonder when Fraser picks one up, which one are you going to go for? Oh, what's that over there? Some recycling stuff. Okay, so maybe you could do some junk modelling at home when you're stuck at home as well. So he's gone for some play doh. Are you sure the play doh is going to be building or toys for cuddling? What do you think at home? Would you cuddle play doh? Would you cuddle play doh? Why not? It's a bit squidgy and it will fall off your hands. And it will make your hands all go dirty. Okay, so it's a bit squidgy. So you're going to leave that in the building one, are you? What about this rabbit here, Fraser? Where should Fraser put the rabbit? Should he put it in the cuddling or in the building? What do you think at home? Okay, where are you going to put it, Fraser? Cuddling? Wow, slow down, mister. Let's go one at a time. So what have you put in here so far? What was that one? A rabbit. Uh, that's not a rabbit. What's that one? A lion. A lion. So is a lion for cuddling? Do you want to cuddle a lion? Mm -hmm. Okay, where are you going to put it then? Uh, okay, so he's going to put that in the toys for cuddling. What else? What about this monkey, mm -hmm. this soft monkey? Where would you put that? Do you think Fraser's put it in the right place? Okay, and what's he put in there as well? A teddy bear? Okay, are there any more? Let's have a look. Stand back a second. Let everyone else at home see. We've got four left. We've got some building blocks. We've got a hedgehog. We've got some Duplo bricks. And we've got some recycling things. So which one is he going to put in? A, can you find one to put in the building section? Which one should he put in the building section? Okay. What else? So some Duplo and some building blocks. 
Uh, we've got two left. We've got a hedgehog and some recycling toys. So he's going to put that in there for some junk modelling. And then he's got a hedgehog in there. So well done. He's done a really quick job on there. Just have a quick look at what Fraser's done. Has he put these in the right categories or would you have put them somewhere else? All toys with wheels. And I like the way you put this one in two different categories. So he's sorted out all his toys ready to go away for the end of the day. So when you come to do some tidying up later on, can you put your toys in different categories before you tidy them up? I'm going to pick Fraser's brain again now, because now I've got all these building blocks that he had. He's put them all over the floor. They're a complete mess, aren't they, Fraser? So what I'm going to ask Fraser to do is tidy them into different sections. So what have you got up here, Fraser? What does that say? Triangles. Triangles. And what does this one say? Circles. And what does this one say? Squares. Okay, so let's just have a quick look at them first of all before we do any sorting. We're looking for triangles, circles and squares. So can you see triangles, circles and squares? Okay. There, so see, there and there. There, there and there. So you've got one of each of you. See if you can put one in each category. Can you find a triangle for Fraser to sort? What colour triangle should he choose? A yellow triangle. Fraser, can you find any yellow triangles? Or hold it on there. Can you see any more yellow triangles? Point at the yellow triangle. Can you see the yellow triangle? Yeah. Where is it? Up the top. Well done. Can you drag that into the yellow triangle box? Ooh. Well done, you. Any more yellow triangles, anyone? No. Okay. Can you find any... Circles now. Should he find yellow circles too? Can you find any yellow circles, Fraser? Well done. He's got two yellow circles. Excellent. What about a square now? What colour what, uh, what color square should he go for? Green? Can you find any green squares? Oh, he's trying to go for yellow squares. Wow, he's trying to do two at once. Now he's found some green squares. Okay, thanks very much. So let's have a look at what he's got so far. He's got two triangles. How many circles has he got? How many circles have you got, Fraser? Two. Two, and how many squares? Two. Two. So how many shapes have you got all together? Six. Six, one. Well, well done. What should he find now? Should he find any more triangles? Uh, what about any circles? Or squares? Which one? You shout out at home. Should he look for triangles? Circles? Squares? Uh, what do you think they wanted you to do? Where? Square, squares? Okay, let's have a look. See if you can put all the squares in that box there. He's found two red squares and two yellow squares. Well done. So how many squares have you got all together? Six. Six squares all together. So what should he find now? Triangles or circles? Shout out. What did you hear? Triangles? Tri triangles? Okay, let's try and find him, see if we can find all the triangles. Can you see any more triangles? Move the red and the green one. And another red and a green one. So how many triangles has he got all together? How many triangles all together? Six. Six triangles. How many squares did you have? Can you remember? Six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, how many circles have you got in there? Two. So how many more does he need to make six? One. Two, three, four. Excellent. Have you got six circles all together? I think you have, haven't you? Well done. So he's sorted out all of his circles, his triangles, and his squares. Well done, Fraser. Good job. Are you finished moving them about? Oh, you've done it by colour. Very nice job. Okay. So now we've sorted out all of his building blocks into the right sections, okay? Now what we're going to do is this. Oh, this one's a bit trickier. I've asked how else he could sort out the blocks. And this time I haven't told him that I want different shapes. But I'm going to ask Fraser if he can work out how else could he sort out his blocks if I don't tell him how to do it. Wait a minute. I'm going to ask the people at home if they can do it. Do you think they've got any ideas? Shout at me. How do you think he could sort his shapes out? Okay. Good idea. How are you going to sort them out, Fraser? Put them in different groups. Put them in different groups? What groups are you going to do? Oh, is that not moving? Oh, look at that. One second. What I've got to do here is, this is because I didn't turn this on. Let me come out of delivery mode. This was because your daddy didn't turn this on before I started. 
So what I've got to do is just tinker with the options in here, make them movable during delivery. Uh, let's go for those ones there as well. So what you'll notice now is for teachers in their lessons, just makes it nice and easy that they can tinker with these software options without any fuss at all, thanking you, unless you've got a little six year old next to you pressing the buttons, they should all be movable now. Great. So how are you going to sort those shapes out, Fraser? Uh-huh. Ah, oh, I wonder what groups he's going to do. Are you doing shapes again? I'm not going to let you do shapes this time. So I'd like you to do them in a different way, but not with shapes. So how else could you sort them if he doesn't use the shapes? So if he doesn't have circles, triangles and squares, is there another way you could group them together? What about if I put this one in here and this one in here? What have those two got that's the same? Yellow. They're both yellow. So could you sort them by colour? Okay, so he's putting all the yellow ones together. What are you going to put up there? All the red ones together. Very nice. And all of the green ones together. Is he dragging them all in the right place? Oh man, that's big. That is a bit bigger, isn't it? Then we can make that one a little bit smaller. There we go. Any more to fill? One, two, three, four, about four left. Is he getting them all in the right places? Excellent. So before, we sorted them all by their different... Colour. Shapes. Shapes. And now we've sorted them out by... How? What links them now? Um... All of them are the same colour. They're all the same colour. So maybe when you're sorting out your toys for your tidy up tonight, maybe you could sort them by colour too. Right, now we're going to step it up a bit. Okay, now what I've done is, I've got all the letters of the alphabet on here, and I'm going to ask Fraser if he can sort them into different groups. So how can he sort these into different groups? Hmm. How could you sort out your letters? Uh-huh, he's got an A there and a B there. Oh, I see what you're doing. A, B, C, D. Excellent, hold it up there. So how are you sorting it there? He's getting them in the right order, isn't he? What do we call all of those letters together? The al alphabet. The alphabet. So what would come next? E. F, excellent, thank you Fraser. So one way you could sort the letters is if you sorted them into the alphabet. That's a good way of doing it. Okay, I'm gonna sort them a different way. And see if you can guess which way I'm sorting them now. I'm gonna put that one in there. I'm gonna put that one in there. Uh, and I'm gonna put that one in there. And uh, I think that's it. So if I only put those letters in there, can you see what those letters have got? that none of the other letters have got. What about if I put this letter in here, and this letter in here, and this letter? I'm thinking about the lines that these shapes have got. So what sort of lines have these shapes got? Straight. Straight lines. And what are these lines here? Curve. Curvy lines. So I wonder if we could shape out Organise your shapes for your letters by straight lines and curvy lines. What if I put this one in here, Fraser? Why would I put that one up in there? Because it's got a straight and curve. Because it's got a straight and a curve. Do you think you could put some of those letters in those boxes for me? What about the letter U? Has that got straights and curved? Yes, it has. What about the letter B? Is that curvy, straight or straight and curvy? It's straight and curvy. Or what about Z? Where are you going to put Z? That one's just got straight lines, hasn't it? What about the letter, the first letter of your name? Where would you put that box? Where, which box would you put it in? Curvy, straight, or straight and curvy? What's Mine's, the first letter of your name? 
But for Fraser, so that's just going to go in there, isn't it? What about the first letter of my name? Where's that going to go? And R, uh, straight and curvy, yeah. What about your brother's first letter? That's an E, isn't it? Where's that going to go? Yes, it is. That's I'm just after. straight lines. You are after him in the outfit, aren't you? Just like that. Excellent. So Fraser's now sorting out all his letters in different ways. So thank you, Fraser. So we've had a look today, uh, sorting out our, our different things. We've sorted out by maybe what they can do or what they're like. We've sorted out objects by their shape. We've sorted out objects by their colour. And we've also sorted out letters, this was a really difficult one, by what they look like. Maybe even with this, what you could do next is have a look at which letters are symmetrical, which letters you could fold in half. And they're exactly the same. Something like the letter X. If we folded that in half, it would look the same, wouldn't it, on both sides, like a butterfly's wings. Okay, so... Thank you for joining us today at Clever Touch. Here's a round of applause for you, Fraser. Thank you very much for helping me out today. Uh, if you want to have a go, have a look at clevertouch.com, learn at home. You can maybe access some of our learning materials on there and keep your little ones busy for about 20 minutes or so, okay? So if you want to get in touch, tune in next time and you can look at some more learning activities with us. Give everyone a big wave, Fraser. Come this way, give everyone a big wave. Okay, see you. Thanks.